Grammy-winning actor with leading man looks and a voice that brings to mind smoked bison hide. His popular three-man podcast is called Smartless, and his new comedy series, Murderville, premieres on Netflix Thursday. Please welcome Will Arnett. <laughs> badge on your, uh, what is that, a patch? Oh, this? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, read it, Jimmy. It says, Toronto Maple Leafs, Honor, Pride, Courage, Ambassador. Well, wow, congratulations. <laughs> I, I mean, it says ambassador, but I like to think of myself more as an attache. An attache? Yeah. What is the difference? What is the difference between an ambassador and an attache? <laughs> well, if I have to explain it to you, <laughs> then I, I'm stalling. But, you know, um, I can't confirm or deny as to whether or not I'm actually an ambassador for the Toronto Maple Leafs, but this is an official ambassador. I didn't steal it. Okay. Just for Did what they it's send worth. it to you? They did send it to me. Was it attached to the jacket or was it just a patch? <laughs> Man, what are you, a lawyer? <laughs> what? It's like all of a sudden I'm on trial over here. <laughs> uh, no, um, no, it did. It came with the jacket. They sent me this nice jacket. And, and um, so we haven't, I haven't asked them as to whether or not I'm actually an ambassador. It's usually reserved for... Why would they send that to you if you weren't an ambassador? Because I'm important to the team. Well, then you're an ambassador. Okay, that's your words. <laughs> Tell that to the people of Toronto. This is going to create a lot of discussion. Yeah, I mean, there are going to be other Canadian celebrities who are going to say, now, why are <laughs> they why don't deserve I it. not an ambassador? <laughs> Name me one Canadian celebrity other than me who deserves it. Martin Doesn't Short. deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jim Carrey. I might deserve it. <laughs> You, uh, oh, you watch the American sports, too, I know. Did I do. Did you watch uh, the football games this I weekend? I watched the football game. Uh, yeah, it's been a minute since you and I have watched a game together. I, I watched yesterday um, with Bateman. Oh, with Jason Bateman, yeah. your friend. Yeah, Jason You guys Bateman. usually watch the games together? We watch some games together, but he's tough to watch with. Yeah. Just because of, mainly because of his um, personality. <laughs> You know? <laughs> He's a very solitary character. Like, he'll sit there at the Dodgers games with his earphones. You, if you go to a game with him at the Dodgers, he will listen to the radio broadcast. And he doesn't want to talk to you. And there's no conversation. No, none. This is a true story. Jimmy's not making that. It's absolutely true. One time I went with him years ago, and maybe I told you this, I went with him, and he always used to bring a glove with him in case he caught a foul ball. Uh -huh. And so we were just, I picked up the glove at one point, we were just talking between innings, and then uh, Dave Roberts, who's now the manager, was, was playing for the Dodgers at the time, and he had a foul ball, and it came towards us, and it, Jason reached up, he almost had it, and I, wearing his glove, I reached in front of him and snagged it out of the air. <laughs> True story. True story, I still have the ball. And the look on his face. <laughs> I heard through the grapevine that in the middle, between the two games, you got a massage at your house yesterday. <laughs> Is that true? How did you hear that? I didn't hear that. <laughs> How does that work exactly? You, do you tell everybody where you're headed for an hour? I just, yeah, just with like, all of a sudden I'm in a robe. No, I, I <laughs> actually, I told Jason was so mad about it. <laughs> Because he thought it was really selfish that I was getting a massage. You invited him to your home. Yeah. And then while you guys were there, presumably watching the game together, you're like, excuse me for one hour. I'll be right back. <laughs> so here's what happened. I told him the day before that I was getting a massage, and then he just all hell broke loose. <laughs> and he couldn't believe the news. And he's like, what do you mean? I could tell he was just jealous, obviously. Because yeah, yeah. he likes, as we know, he likes nice stuff. Yeah. And, and, and he needs to be taken care of. And so, so then he ended up just showing up for the late game. So, because he didn't want to be around when he knew that I was getting massaged. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's kind of out of protest, I think. Wow, wow. Yeah. He's really taken some strong stands lately, you know? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you, um, you guys are going on the road. When? It's starting soon, right? We're leaving, we're leaving tomorrow to go on the tour. The Smart List podcast yeah. is going to be live in front of other, in front of... Big crowds, huge crowds. We start we start on uh, on February first in D.C. and we're going all over the place. And we're living together, 
we're on the road together and we've got all these hotels. We're, we're in the same hotel rooms with, with adjoining rooms. Why do you have adjoining rooms? I don't know. He was so adamant about that. Jason <laughs> was. Sean didn't care. Sean was like, whatever. And Jason, and I, so I demanded a lock, obviously. Yeah, sure. On my, because, you know, you, you never, never know. know. He starts, yeah. yeah you want to get a massage or yeah, something. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Not from you, dude, you know? <laughs> uh, and then, but it's going to be fun to watch him because he's got such a funny relationship with food. You yeah, know, he so, does. Doesn't he? Yes. So I can't wait to watch him eat or not eat. You know what he did yesterday? Like, he does this whole thing where he's like, look, he, quite literally, every time he comes to my house, he goes into the pantry, he's like, look at all this food you got. Look at these things. Like, Who gets Cheetos? And then he starts eating it. <laughs> like he's like a kid who escaped from fat camp. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. why are you so mad about it? He uh, claims to be gluten-free, and yeah. yet um, we rented a house together for a period of six days, and on each of the six days, he bought a giant box of pastries. Um, <laughs> sure. He brought them back to the house. And on New Year's Eve, when I FaceTimed with you guys, he was eating ice cream. He was eating ice right? cream. So yeah. He also will heat any food that you prepare. Yes. He will just take it and put it right in the microwave. Immediately. Which is maddening to somebody who cooks the food and gets it just right. Yep. But he goes right to the microwave. Doesn't care. What's wrong with him? He also, I mean, we're, we're really we're really going off on our friend Jason. But yeah. as you know, sits at a restaurant, gets the menu. Thank you. I'll have the this and I'll have the this. Thank you. Up and to the bathroom. And he walks. He goes and he washes his hands. Uh -huh. And then he walks back like he's going into surgery. <laughs> so he's holding his hands like this, and he'll sit back down at the table. So what's going on? Waiting for the food. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> we oh. could do an hour. This is a special. Let's You're get right. Barbara Walters you out should. here. It's like a retrospective. It's like a. <laughs> How are you? How you doing? I, uh, heard about uh, heard about last week, man. Whoa. Oh yeah. Good, good for you. Oh thank you. Man. Hey. Thank you. And I heard about Friday too. All right, good, yeah. Uh, Will Arnett is here. We'll be back to see a clip from his new show, Murderville. We'll be right back. Orders are very easy to lose behind your ears because they're Yo, small. They're, they're small, yeah. But if I mix it up just a little bit, you can hear it, and then I blow it. Look at this. Yeah. And now okay. it's a single half dollar, 50 cent piece. <laughs> Make sure to put that in your piggy bank. That is astounding. <laughs> it's not. It's Holy shit. He's always got one in the other. My yeah. jaw is on the floor. Oh, well, then maybe we should clean it up. <laughs> oh, Actually, up that was, jaw. Let me just that was pretty clean cool. Up the jaw. <laughs> that is Will Arnett, Conan O'Brien, and David Wayne in Murderville. Yeah, great David Wayne. Uh, boy, that show is funny. And it, what an interesting idea. It, the idea, I'll explain if, if you don't mind. Well, the I idea you is you've got this real funny murder mystery, mm -hmm. but each week you have a celebrity guest who is playing himself, mm -hmm. and that person becomes your detective sidekick. Right. And the person doesn't have a script, they just have to kind of fill in the blanks as it goes along. Yes, they have no idea what's going on. There's a murder, and we have to go uh, look at the body with the ME and, and uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, question all these suspects, and, and our guest has no idea. So it's just completely improvised. And we mess around, and we have a sort of a goal of what we want to get to every time. And at the end of the episode, they got to try to guess who committed the murder. They guess who committed yeah. the murder. It's crazy. It's a crazy, and, and you know, it, it's a concept that came from this guy, this great Tom Davis, Englishman, who he created the uh, original version in the UK that was a little bit different. And we, I just loved it. I love what he did. I was so enamored with the idea. And we just started doing it here. You have Conan, you have Marshawn Lynch. Marshawn Lynch. You have um, uh, Dr. Ken Jong. Dr. Ken Jong. Uh, uh, Sharon Stone. Sharon Stone. Uh, Kamel Nanjiani. Kamel Nanjiani and uh, Annie Murphy. From and Annie Shakes Murphy, Creek. yeah. So we have a really awesome cast. It's a really funny show. It's really funny. And right before we watch it, my wife said, this could go either way. Yeah. And uh, yeah. yeah, and it went the good way. Where yeah. is Molly? Thank you, Molly. <laughs> Thanks, Molly. Now, I want to mention something. Uh, oh, first, I forgot to show this before. This is a picture you post on Instagram. I actually shot this photograph. Yeah, this uh, is, this is, Jason, this we, were, we, this, we were rehearsing <laughs> this uh, Facts of Life, and, uh, and Jimmy was able to capture a photo of Jason eating a sandwich. Eating a giant turkey sandwich. So he texted it to me, and then I, and then I put it out on Jason's yeah. birthday. Yeah, it's a great it's, shot. It's a great shot, it isn't it? everything. Look, the crowd's really with Bateman now, have you noticed? Yeah. <laughs> So, um, I know you know about this uh, because I believe you acknowledged it online, but there was a, a, a young girl 
uh, who is eight years old, and at her birthday, she had a Will Arnett themed birthday party. Yeah. I, even I haven't had one. She had a. <laughs> She uh, has your sh face on her shirt. They vandalized the horse. Yeah. They had uh, cupcakes with your head on them. They had keychains with your face on them. Sure. It was a whole thing. Now, have you spoken to this young lady? I have not spoken to her. I knew about the thing. Um... Well, her name is Ellie Palumbo. Ellie. And as a matter of fact, we tracked her down. And there's Ellie. No! <laughs> your littlest fan. What? <laughs> Ellie, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing well. Say hello to your friend Will Arnett here. Hi. Hi, Ellie. How are you? Good. Listen, I'm sorry. This is a little belated, but happy birthday. <laughs> uh, Thank you. How did it go? Were people, were people really puzzled by your birthday? Yeah. 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 People thought you were my dad. No, oh, they thought you were her dad. Well, you know what? That's a compliment. Yeah. I'll take that as a compliment. It could also be a paternity suit. We don't know. <laughs> Ellie. <laughs> Make it weird. Ellie, do your friends like Will Arnett also? Well, some people don't know about him. Right. <laughs> if they knew, if they knew him, they would love him. Yeah. Well, you know how they will know about me, Ellie? You're gonna do this every year <laughs> for the rest of your life. <laughs> and I'm gonna come down. I'm coming down there. Which birthday? Will you be at her ninth birthday? Well, I, I, I gotta look at my calendar, but I'm gonna be there. <laughs> and I can't wait, Ellie. Ellie, um, let's show this. Uh, I mean, this party wasn't just cupcakes and keychains. This is all, um, show the rock that they painted for Ellie there. <laughs> 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 By the way, <laughs> by the way, I had, my, I had to have a name tag on. You had to have a name tag. <laughs> because people wouldn't know. Ellie, besides that little um, uh, mobile or whatever you got behind you, do you collect Will Arnett stuff? Um, yeah, I have some stuff here. Can we, can we see the stuff? Uh-huh. OK, great. Um, I have this. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Look That's that. a Will Arnett Tumblr, okay? This. <laughs> a notebook. Notebook? Uh, no. Oh, it's a Will notebook? How about this? I have wow. another notebook, which um, says, sorry I wasn't listening <laughs> about Will Arnett. <laughs> and... You know what? <laughs> I say that all the time. Ellie, are you a fan of Jason Bateman's also? No? Nah. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> Ellie, what a pleasure to meet you. Thank you so much. I'm so honored that you would, you would uh, do, have a birthday theme uh, after me. I, I can't even tell you. I hope it went well. I'm sorry you had to explain to everybody who I was. <laughs> but uh, one day we'll do it in person. And, and Jimmy will pay for it. Hey, that's right. Okay? <laughs> Way to go, Thank Jimmy. You, what a guy. <laughs> oh, and Ellie. Don't watch the show Murderville on Netflix, Do okay? Do not. Not yet. Okay. 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 Yeah, give it a few years. Wait till you're right. 13. Thank you, Ellie. That's Ellie, everybody. Bye, Thank Ellie. You all <laughs> you see that? Wow. I mean, you've got fans from elementary school all the way past death. It's incredible. Wait, past <laughs> yeah, death? Yeah, yeah, there's some. Yeah, people. Ghosts? Left, yeah, some I'm people. I'm huge with ghosts. It's great to see you. Uh, congratulations on the show. Watch it on Netflix. Will Arnett, everybody. It premieres Thursday on Netflix. We'll be back with Lisa Lane. Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, click the subscribe button. And if you didn't like it, well, you hurt my feelings. <laughs>